ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமா சில்ட்ரன் வெல்கம் டு ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அ வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் டாபிக் அபவுட் தி இன்டிகேட்டர்ஸ் விச் ஆர் தி கெமிக்கல் சப்ஸ்டன்சஸ் யூஸ்ட் டு ஐடென்டிஃபை வெதர் தி சப்ஸ்டன்சஸ் ஆர் அசிடிக் ஆர் பேசிக் ஓகே சோ வாட் ஆர் கால் இன்டிகேட்டர்ஸ் இன்டிகேட்டர்ஸ் ஆர் தி கெமிக்கல் சப்ஸ்டன்சஸ் which help us to identify whether the substance is acidic or basic okay how to identify using these indicators when we add these indicators to acidic or basic solutions either the indicators will change the color of the solution or the smell of the solution okay so if this indicator changes the color both the cases are considered to be acid base indicators only okay as they are um the substances which are used to identify the chemical substances right so if the color is changed by adding the indicators to the acidic or basic solutions if the color is changed then the indicators are called chroma indicators okay actually the term chroma means color so by changing the color of the acidic or basic solution these indicators help us to identify whether it is acidic or basic right and by changing the smell okay we can identify whether the substance is acidic or basic so such indicators are generally termed as olfactory indicators okay olfactory indicators right so why are they called as olfactory indicators sense of smell okay so we are calling them as olfactory indicators by changing the smell or um, uh, such substances we can identify whether it is an acidic or basic solution right okay and now indicators as i said chroma indicators and olfactory indicators whatever they are they'll be used to identify the acid and bases so normally these indicators are called as acid base indicators what are they called acid base indicators and they are of two types okay what are they natural indicators and synthetic indicators so the first one is natural and the second one is synthetic indicators why by the source we are calling them as natural indicators they occur naturally whereas these synthetic indicators can be prepared in the laboratory okay right so what are the natural indicators we have okay to identify the acid base solutions we have turmeric okay we'll be using it in um, uh, cooking okay so domestic material so can be used as an indicator okay so simple it is and colored petals of flowers flowers like hydrangea petunia and geranium they have exclusively dark colored petals so those petals can be used for identifying the acid base substances okay using them as indicators because we have to take the extract of these flowers and those extracts will be tested with acid base by changing the color of acid and basic solutions we can identify whether the substance is acidic solution or basic solution and the third one is litmus litmus is also a natural indicator because it is extracted from the plant lichen you could have seen in a rainy season the brown deposits over the bark of the tree okay so actually that is called a lichen so the lichen plant will be just to get separated from the tea tree bark and then they'll be uh, uh, just uh, grind as a powder fine powder and dye will be extracted from it make it as a solution that will there will be purple color litmus will be available and uh, red color litmus will be available okay so the purple color litmus when it is uh, just made into a dye and if the filter paper is uh, immersed inside that dye that filter paper will get the color okay and that will be used as indicator to identify the acid and basic solutions okay 
right and we have two synthetic indicators here phenolphthalein and methyl orange where phenolphthalein is colorless and methyl orange is orange in color that's why the name is name of the indicator is methyl orange okay right let us see uh, what will be the action of these indicators over acidic and basic solutions okay so now we have indicators here how they will be acting in acidic solution and basic solution let us see today the first indicator is the turmeric so turmeric you know that it is yellow in color okay so it remains yellow in acidic solution whereas it turns red in basic solution whereas the red cabbage is the another um, natural indicator when we take the extract of this red cabbage of course the extract will be red in color so it remains red in acidic solution where it turns green in basic solution okay the same way the dark colored flower petal which is purple uh, in color that means blue dark blue in color not purple uh, in some flowers are purple in color the same hydrangea some flowers will be purple in color but here we have chosen the blue color petals of the hydrangea okay so when these flower petal extracts is added to uh, acidic solution it remains blue where as it turns pink in basic solution and litmus purple litmus actually it is the uh, original litmus which is extracted from the lichen plant it remains red in acidic solution whereas it turns blue in basic solution when we make that litmus into two different litmus papers like red litmus paper and blue litmus paper they have different action over the acidic and basic solutions for example red litmus paper remains red in acidic solution whereas it turns blue in basic solution okay and blue litmus turns red and it remains blue in basic solution okay children now we have turmeric as a natural indicator and here let me show you a small uh, video so that you will understand how turmeric powder can be used as an indicator in acidic and basic solutions okay so we have two bowls here and two beakers of solutions in that first bowl we are taking lemon juice and second bowl we are taking soap solution and we have turmeric solution here by adding turmeric solution to the soap solution you can see it turns red and here in lemon it turns yellow okay which shows that lemon contains citric acid which is acidic in nature so that the yellow color of turmeric powder remains yellow in acidic solution whereas in soap solution when we add turmeric solution it turns into red which shows the basic character of the soap solution okay children and the next extract is red cabbage extract so here the red cabbage extract can be made by taking the peeling out the red cabbage leaves and immerse in methanol this is methanol solution and we have four bowls of solutions here the first two are acids and the second two are bases and what are the acids we have here let us see here okay hydrochloric acid lemon juice sodium hydroxide and soap solution okay so first we are going to peel out this red cabbage and it has to be kept immersed in that methanol solution for some time when it is immersed in methanol what happen the color of the red cabbage will be totally just uh, extracted okay so it will be absorbed by that methanol now the methanol solution with that red cabbage extract is added to hydrochloric acid see the color wow it is become dark red and in the second that means lemon juice it turns into pink color right whereas when it is added to sodium hydroxide solution it turns green color right and in soap solution it gives light green color so by this what is the variation we could see here children see the first solution it contains hydrochloric acid which is a strong acid 
So when we add this red cabbage extract, it gives dark red color. Whereas the second bowl contains lemon juice, which is a weak acid, right? So it gives light pink color when we add the red cabbage extract. Whereas in the third bowl, we have sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base. So it gives dark green color, whereas the soap solution is a weak base. So when we add the red cabbage extract, it gives light green color. Okay. So this is how we can use the natural indicators to test whether the acids are strong or weak and whether the bases are strong or weak by the intensity of the color which have been produced by the indicators. Okay, right. Next, synthetic indicators. Already I told you phenolphthalein and methyl orange are the two indicators we have which are synthetic in nature. How they can be acting over the acid and basic solutions, let us see. See here we have a beaker of uh, acid and a beaker of hydro sodium hydroxide which is a base. When we add methyl orange to the acid, it turns red whereas in base it turns into yellow. Okay, by changing the color, we can identify whether it is a base or an acid. And here we have phenolphthalein indicator to test two solutions. This beaker contains sodium hydroxide and the another beaker contains hydrochloric acid. So the sodium hydroxide turns into pink color whereas the hydrochloric acid remains colorless when we add the phenolphthalein indicator. Okay, so by changing the color of the solutions, very easily we can identify whether it is acidic or basic using these indicators. Is it not easy children to identify acidic and basic solutions using the indicators? Yes, of course. Okay, right. And next, universal indicators. It is a typical indicator actually. These universal indicators, actually they are made up of, in the universal indicators are made up of usually mixing of several indicators. For example, we have litmus indicator, and phenolphthalein, methyl orange, okay. So using all those indicators, when mixing them together in a definite proportion, we'll be getting this universal indicator, okay. So what is this universal indicator? It is a typically composed of, okay. It is typically composed of a solution of several compounds exhibit several smooth colors by changing the color, okay? And we have to refer the color change with the help of a pH value. Actually, the pH is a scale which has a ranging from 0 to 14, okay? So, from that range of scale, we can identify, comparing the color of the solutions which has been given to us, using those color changes, we can check the uh, pH scale what is a matching color to that particular range so we can identify whether it is a strong acid or weak acid, whether it is a strong base or a weak base. Okay, that we'll see later. Okay, children. And now the next category is olfactory indicators. Okay, olfactory indicators. What does it mean? Olfactory means relating to the sense of smell. Okay, these indicators will have a specific characteristic property that when these indicators are added to the acid or basic solutions, they will change the smell. That means what? Those characteristic change uh, will be taking place. The smell of these indicators will be changed. Okay, let us see how they are changing their uh, smell one by one. And these olfactory indicators are the substances whose smell change in acidic or basic solutions. And here we have three main olfactory indicators which are very much available so we can test the acid and basic solutions very easily. They are onion extract, vanilla extract and clove oil. Okay, so using these indicators also we can test whether the given substance is an acid or a base. So what to be done with this onion? Onion should be crushed and the extract of onion should be taken. Okay, and we have we need a white cloth actually. A piece of white cloth is enough. 
so when the piece of white cloth is uh, just immersed in the solution extract of onion and uh, for some time you have to keep it dry when we test you have to cut to cut the uh, cloth into two pieces with one piece acid should be added and the other piece base should be added you need not go for the laboratory or in search of acids or bases you can use your own um, household materials like lemon juice very well it will be available at home so just immerse put two three drops of lemon juice in one part of the cloth and the other part of the cloth you can take a very well um, uh, sodium uh, that means baking powder you can take sodium carbonate okay so by that you can test them right so let us see what be the results when we use these olfactory indicators okay see olfactory indicators in acidic and basic solution the first extract is onion extract okay so when we add this acidic solution to this onion extract or else this onion extract with the uh, piece of cloth okay is tested with this acidic solution the smell of onion will not be destroyed it remains okay the characteristic smell of onion will remain in the cloth but when we add in basic solution then what happen the smell of onion will destroy okay so by this you can easily identify whether it is an acidic solution or basic solution okay when the unknown substance is given to us very easily using these extracts we can identify next one is vanilla extract you know vanilla ice cream flavor we cannot forget it isn't it so the smell of vanilla extract does not destroy in acidic solution is very very important does not destroy okay does not destroy in acidic solution whereas the smell of vanilla extract destroy in basic solution okay then clove oil right clove you know one of the spices which we'll add in the uh, food okay and it will be uh, having a, a very good medicinal value also so that we are using this clove in toothpaste also okay those who are suffer of uh, toothache they'll be using this clove to get relief of that okay so that clove oil also will not destroy its characteristic smell when it is added to the acidic solution whereas in basic solution of course the smell of clove oil will get destroyed okay so this is how very easily we can identify the colors okay of the solutions or else the smell of the indicators will very much help us to identify the acidic and basic solutions okay children thank you i'll meet you tomorrow with a new concept